Thank you, and welcome to our High Performance Return Handling Systems presentation. We'll be taking questions at the end of this presentation, or please come to our virtual booth, call, or email us. It's important to understand your data and business case to create your right fit. Touch items once or as little as possible. Try to put returns directly into active inventory locations for seamless efficiencies. Can you cross dock returns into open orders without losing throughput? To accomplish this, you will need to understand your slow, average, and busy periods. Likewise, project growth and a change of SKUs. The first step is utilizing a right fit methodology. The right fit methodology helps you understand your returns, your business, and your future, which is all tied together, of course. This seven-step methodology includes a deep dive data analysis. We analyze the design objectives. We then do an alternative analysis to make sure that we have the best and always apply your business case to make sure and to validate. This keeps focus on finding the best return on investment and making sure that it aligns and it's exactly what your organization is looking for. We set a clear path to success, create an execution roadmap, and then of course, a lifecycle nexus, which is how this system is going to run at peak performance for months, years, and decades forward. So that this type of methodology is important to your overall success, as you can imagine. So for returns and profitability, some associated costs, returns make up to 642.6 billion annually. That's a lot. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. If it wasn't impacting you and your organization, you wouldn't be here watching this right now. But I thank you for watching this. The costs become staggering when you consider restocking items, return shipping, the Q&A process, packaging, merchandise that's lost or damaged, the list goes on. There are some of the costs that are handling your returns must take into account to protect your profitability. You need to have a plan. Free returns are not free to you. They really cost money and lots of it. Likewise, the functions, returns, overstock, obsolescence, and redistributing inventory need to be addressed. There are many facets to returns, and this has to be analyzed and planned, which is directed by our right fit methodology. Make returns easy for the customer. Having a plan and capacity for peak and valley returns activity. All too often, systems are designed based on averages. If you design based on averages, your system will fail. So we need to take in all parts of your business and how your returns activity impact that. And likewise, other returns going back to DCs, stores, third-party locations, this is all part of that process of understanding your returns business processes and designing a solution. But of course, the glue is often the software and its ability to manage the equipment and orchestrate the facility. This might be done using your existing WMS or possibly a layer of WES software. This is part of the analysis. There is a myriad of technologies that are available today in the conveyance, buffering, and handling of returns. You have a full range of AMRs, autonomous mobile robots, horizontal carousels, and oldie but goodie that work great for returns, conveyor, of course, and overhead pouch and pocket sorters, plus vertical sequencing modules. We'll go into the details in a little bit. Also, many of these systems can be integrated with pick to light, pick to voice, augmented vision systems and put walls. Let's take a deeper look into the technologies. So right now you're looking at a stacker bot AMR. 
These AMRs use telescopic forks that store and retrieve totes one or two positions deep into the rack. So a very efficient, very effective way of handling returns, the Skypod by Exotech. You have AMRs that climb up and down the rack. They get to their location. They pull the tote onto their back, go down, get in the queue at the workstation where the operator makes the picks. This makes the system a bit easier to see. The system is just rack. And then you add the Skypod AMRs who do most of the work. Then add workstations, which can be as simple or complex as needed based upon your throughput, labor, and business requirements, and of course, your goals. The best part is the flexibility. Adding more workstations, adding more AMRs is still all available. The system is very easy to expand and to operate. A gopher bot is an AMR that travels below the racks, lifts the rack it requires, and delivers it to the proper workstation. What makes this system powerful is the fast return on investment and flexibility. These racks can be used for any combination of handling loose items, cases, hanging garments, even pallets, bins, or gaylords. Likewise, there are all types of options that can be utilized within the workstation, including pick to light, voice, or augmented vision. The same system can be used for picking, replenishment, and placing returns into active pick locations, all simultaneously using the same or dedicated workstations. This eliminates an extra touch or two for higher efficiency. We have a pouch or pocket sorter. Returned items can be inducted into a pouch. The pouch is then stored and sequenced in an array of overhead conveyor. Every item is stored out of the way. When a specific SKU is either required to be put away or to be complete in order, the pocket sorter will deliver the item or items to the correct workstation. The tilt sort bot runs on a table with totes or gaylords on the perimeter. Induction can be done with operators robotic arms, or even an A-frame for a high quantity. Once a piece is inducted on the tilt sort bot, they move immediately to the open order and deposit the inventory into a tote or Gaylord. The tilt sort bot is also available with a cross belt top. Items are inducted and the bot deposits the item into the correct tote, which are located on the perimeter. The beauty of this system is the lack of infrastructure that is required. The Gaylords can represent stores, aisles, departments, buildings, postal routes, and so much more. An AMR or operator can be used to move the Gaylords to its next destination when ready. This is the high tilt bot. This system utilizes a very simple induction process and uses its cross belt or tilt tray system to deposit items into the bins or Gaylords, which are located on the perimeter. The beauty of this system is the lack of infrastructure that is required. The Gaylords can represent stores, aisles, departments, buildings, postal routes, and so much more. An AMR or operator can be used to move the Gaylords to its next destination when ready. A vertical sequencing module, or VSM, people confuse this with a vertical lift module, or VLM, but it's not the same. The vertical sequencing module has five independent totes wide in the module's front and rear. Imagine returns coming into Q&A. They accept the return, place them into a tote. The totes are automatically routed to the VSM. When an open order requires the SKU, the tote is routed by a conveyor or AMR to the workstation. Likewise, when enough pieces of the SKU are in the system, they can be sequenced and delivered to a workstation to be consolidated. The key is understanding your business to determine the right fit. I'd like to thank you for stopping by and watching this presentation. I'm happy to answer any questions you have now, or don't forget, 
you can stop by our booth, call, or email, of course. Thanks once again.